Let's look at limit and offset clauses. In this video, here we have the limit. What limit allows us to do is in the limit the number of records that are returned in the output. So if we specify a positive integer value of one, then we get only one record in the output that uh, is drawn from data. And in addition to that, we can use offset. What offset allows us to do is skip records before we can apply the limit and now let's see how this works in the actual query here we have a query where we have this table as we see below it's just one column with letters a b c d e now when we perform we add a limit to this let's say if we add limit 2 what that will do is instead of returning all the records in this case five records we will get only two records in the output from this query so as we see down below we just have the first two records which is a and b from the earlier table so that's how limit works we need a positive integer value if i put a minus two there i'm guessing we should get an error and that's what we get so the query is expecting a positive integer value next let's look at offset again we have this table with one column letter and that column has five values a b c d and e and these are uh, these are ordered in the ascending order starting with a now if we put a limit and offset of one what this will do is it will skip the very first record and give us uh, three records which is b c and d so if we run this query in the output we should see one column with records b c and d we change the output from one if we change that to two then it should skip the first two records that is a and b and we should get c d and e in the output so if we run this then this is what we should see so we have c d and e in the output that's how the limit and offset works if you have any questions comments or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video thank you